books about the arc of the Olympic year from the perspective of Olympian just as he discovers he's going to the games and he finally gets the nod from the selectors um, from that moment of euphoria to the, the holding camp before the Olympics, the, the pressure and the strain um, in the last couple of weeks before you go to the games itself, then getting to the Olympics, the opening ceremony, um, meeting all the other athletes and seeing the wonderful myriad of, of life and humanity on this planet before going into the competition itself, the, the winning by fractions or the losing by fractions, before then the parties afterwards, which are pretty monumental, um, before getting home um, to meet the Queen and have bus rides and bus celebrations, and then suddenly realising at the end of that, what the hell do I do now? But it also covers a bit about what makes Olympians Olympians and why they're great and what inspired them to be to be Olympians. Memorable moments? I ran out until about 6 a.m. and grabbed my rucksack and, and half filled it with was sick. I mean, people stare at your uh, bits. Olympians' thoughts on drug taking. It's hard slog, which is really repetitious. Incredible fear. Crawl back to the Olympic Village. Yes, some good freebies. I had a McDonald's. Trainers, suits, sunglasses, the full works. The after parties are, are, are pretty amazing. And what's, being, what's sexier than being Olympian? I mean, for those who are single, that, that animal fear. 180,000 condoms in two weeks. Pace yourself. Wake up at 3 a.m. like drenched in sweat thinking, oh Christ, I'm gonna miss my drugs test. Got a fake bow tie on the Queen. Doesn't like fake bow ties. You've got to be on the edge of crazy, if not, you know, if not actually crazy, to, to sacrifice enough to get a gold medal. Because a lot of people struggle after the Olympics.